Hey guys, RC here, back with Climbing the Ladder, our Football Manager 20 Journeyman Save. We are back, episode 11, with FK Carl Skrona. And uh, yeah, so friendlies have gone well. Uh, of course, my wife chooses just this second to start texting. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look. 3-1 win, goals by Lindbaum, Nicholson, and an own goal. 3-1 win, Tom Kroon with a hat trick. 2-0 win, Thony and Svensson with goals. 1-0 win, Thony with the goal, and toward a 4-0 win, Anderson Hallquist with goals, Adolfson with a brace. So, um, let's jump into the competition first. So we are in the Super Rattan this year after getting promoted last year and winning silverware. Uh, season preview, we are picked to finish seventh in the top half of the table. And that is what the board expects from us, top half. So we're actually slated to finish there. So that's good news. Taking a look at finances, we are hemorrhaging money. Uh, with the payroll, we have added from, what were we at, about $24,000. we are now at $43,000. We didn't spend any of our transfer budget, very little. Um, well, I take that back. We had $140,000 to start. We're at $138,000. We did have some, some sales that offset that, but uh, we didn't really pay a lot for any players. We got a lot of frees. Um, there were a lot of guys I wanted to get that would not that would not help the, you know, come, come even talk to us. Looks like we've already blown our scouting budget. Uh, yeah, well, that's all right. We really don't have any more anyway. I do need to shave some of this salary though. Uh, let's look at the transfers. Uh, I don't think we had 22, uh, but, uh, we had, we had a few. It was, it was, it was quite a lot. Uh, Binyar Gunmanson, one of our starting center backs, goes to Rajevic for one and a half thousand. Uh, we're going to miss him. I really wish I would not have sold him, but I was looking at, you know, just overall money. Uh, Renstrom goes out on a free. Jean, Jan Eklund goes out on loan. These are a bunch of young players. Kevin Warner on loan. Yes, Oscar Lang, our leading scorer last year. We get $8,500 for him and a sell-on fee. I think it was 30% uh, of his next deal. You know, the reason I moved him was because of his six finishing. And I thought we had enough to offset that. God, did he play well last year. Um, he is going to be missed. Definitely 23 goals. Uh, club record. Broke the club record for goals. We will miss him immensely. Uh, our other, another striker and winger reserve, Nicholas Henningsen, goes for one thousand two hundred dollars. Uh, Johan Berg, Berglund, uh, this is a reserve keeper. Uh, they leave our starting keeper from last year, Daniel Lane. He goes to Lottie for one thousand three hundred dollars. Martin Magnuson goes out on loan, and this one, this one got me. Hermanson is uh, our starting right winger. At the transfer deadline, we had gotten an offer, and the board accepted $6,000 for him from Vasteris at the trade deadline, and I did not have time to replace him. So we're going to be a little thin at right wing, unfortunately. Now, who did we bring in? Well, I needed to strengthen our midfield. So we picked up $18,000. We sold, spent $3,800. We're going to save our big players that we actually spent money on uh, for last. But we brought in Karsten Bag or Baje. I don't know what how to pronounce that. I don't like the mustache kid. Shave it off. Uh, but he's three and a half star current, four and a half star potential. Uh, so we're going to rely on him to, to fill a spot uh, in the central mid, at least to compete for it, right? Uh, Tobias Hansen comes in on a free. He's also a central mid. He can play on the left wing. Can't cross very well, but I love his passing. I could see him being a playmaker. 
lacking a little pace, but, uh, you know, I think he could maybe do some business for us. Callie Nyberg comes in on a free, another midfielder. Uh, he's got pace, uh, decent passing technique, first touch. Uh, again, I think he could do some business for us potentially. Uh, but we signed a lot of midfielders. We may end up trying to move some of these guys out. Uh, Gustafson comes in on loan. He is a goalkeeper. Originally, he was going to be our starting keeper. Um, you know, don't forget we brought in that guy from last year as well, uh, Willardson. We'll show you him right now. So I knew I had him coming in. I wanted to get rid of Lang, and Will Willardson was going to be our replacement. Uh, but this guy popped up, um, actually our general manager, uh, pulled him and I've got it set to where I can reject these loans, but I was having, I was having trouble getting players cause you know, the ones that were real good didn't want to come, wouldn't even talk to us. And the ones that I could talk to were basically what we already had. So I said, Hey, well, I'll let my director of football initiate some moves but I'm going to handle the negotiations the fi and the final approval. So he brought him in on loan. I said, yeah, okay, I could see that. So uh, he's going to slot in. Pro he was going to be our starting keeper. Unfortunately, he'll be our reserve. <laughs> and that means that uh, Willardson is now our third string goalkeeper. Uh, we brought in Jimmy Hallquist. He is a central defender. He cannot head the ball, even though he's six foot two and has 13 jumping reach. He can mark, can't tackle. So, um, yeah, I don't know exactly how that's going to work out, but uh, we'll need him to do a little bit of business. Johan Nicholson, he is a striker, uh, three and a half star. He's got a little bit of pace, finishing first touch, free kick taking. He's got one goal and four assists in three matches This uh, as friendlies. Went after a few older guys uh, just for some leadership, uh, especially after letting uh, Frieden go, who was our captain and our team leader. Uh, let's see. Stefan Tildum comes in from start on a loan. He is a left winger. I honestly thought I was going to lose. Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, shit. I'm drawing a blank. Starts with a T. Thony. Yeah, that's it. Um, so was a little worried about that. So we brought him in. This guy, well, we're going to wait on, on these guys. Uh, Elvind Falkenborn comes in on loan, another central mid. Just well-rounded, you know, can do the business for us here. He ha he just joined, hasn't played yet. Uh, Willardson, we already looked at. Uh, Martin Check on a loan, and he can play striker, left wing. He can fit in at right wing, but central mid, again, good passing, lacking a little pace. So yeah, I see him being more of a, a you know playmaker, you know, not somebody that's going to move around a lot. Jonathan Anderson, he comes in on a free. He's another striker. One really looking for a striker, but he popped up on the radar. So again, good physicals, 13 finishing, really good first touch. Again, 6'2, good jumping reach, can't head the ball. Evidently, this is a thing in Sweden that nobody wants to mess up their hair or something. Don't know. Magnus Eriksson on a free. He can play both wings and he can do a job. So I'm looking for him to play a lot. He'll probably be uh, one of my first options off the bench, both sides. And Simon Francia, he is a central mid and a defensive mid. Uh, he's on loan and very good physicals, passing ability. He can play defense. The reason we brought him in is one of I changed our first tactic to this a little bit, you know, with a defensive mid, um, but still with a central mid wingers two up top. Similar tactic, just dropping one of those central mid midfielders back to a defensive mid. We can maybe go to this when you know when we're up, just uh, you know something to look at. And I needed somebody that could be an upgrade at that defensive mid position. So that's what we've got coming in. Then we've got the guys that we spent money on. Two of them came in from uh, Christianstad and one from Razlot. Tom Kroon, really excited about this guy. Three goals in one match, played a 9.5. Right winger, 
Uh, so he can, uh, now he's probably going to slot in and be our starter now that we, uh, the board moved, uh, moved the guy we just talked about. Crossing's not great. His technicals are not very good, but he's got really good leadership work rate. So I'm hoping he can do something out there. T.O. Nilsson, uh, again, uh, dual winger, again, good physicals. Can't pass quite as good, but he's a little bit better in the technicals. So we'll see. He's played in all four matches. So we'll see what happens with him. And the last guy that we bought, uh, so one and a half thousand for uh, Kroon, 1,300 for Nilsson. We played a flat uh, thousand for Daniel Johansson. He is a goalkeeper and uh, he is four star current ability. He's had two shutouts, one goal allowed in three matches. I am thinking he's probably going to be our number one keeper. So that's what we're looking at. So, uh, again, tactics are uh, the 4-4-2 that we played last year. We've got this secondary 4-4-2, a little bit different. And then, again, we brought in the 4-1-3-2 just to maybe, maybe be a little more defensive with that tick attacker. So let's get into it. We are playing uh, Rhyninge today. So let's get started. We are at home. We are favored. So we are going to put the pedal to the metal and try to get it done. I do want to start off with, uh, with this tactic, however. And you can see, you know, we're actually not too bad. Uh, so uh, let's see what looks different. Hallquist, uh, he's new. Jimmy Hallquist, he came over from... Uh, is that Geffel? Geffel? I think so. Uh, we picked him up on a free. And uh, eh, he'll need to pick up his ratings, but hopefully he can do that. Uh, then we've got Hallen. Hallen is lacking a shit ton of pace. He's got the better defensive skills. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. He'll push ahead of the defensive line. So I'm going to make him the stopper. And we're going to put him on cover just to try you know try to balance his lack of pace out um well you know what let's let's go ahead and do let's do that all right then we've got uh, martin johansson he returns uh he played in 13 matches for his last year so he'll get the start anderson he came over uh on a free last year only appeared in 10 matches, but played well. Uh, so he'll get it done. Thony's back on the right, left wing. Kroon starts on the right wing today. Uh, Baggy and Czech on the, uh, in the central mid, which looks like we've really solidified that. Uh, Lindbaum, of course, up top returns. And Johans Nicholson, uh, very good finishing and first touch. Excited to see what he can do. And he has uh, eight passing, ten penalty taking. Hopefully he can uh, find Lindbaum with quite a few goals this year. So let me know what you guys think about the, say, the, the moves and the signings. And we'll take a look at some of the other players as we go. Uh, we do need to number some people. They both like the number 14. And both of them are SOL because neither one of them get it. <laughs> All right, uh, morale boost. Let's do our standard start of season ass kissing, right? All right. Early highlight. Minute and a half in, Hallquist. Back to Gustafson. All right, he lumps it up towards the mid. Johansson plays it over the top. Lindbaum. Oh, he cannot find it past the keeper. All right, a throw in from the deep corner. Played out. Oh, check, heads it down. Right back to Carlson, however. Thony intercepts that one. He brings it up. Nice through ball. Mm, couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it. All right, he lumps it back over. Thony plays it back to check. Check lays it off to Johansson. There's a cross in. Check into Thony. Oh, Thony could not get to it. He was a step late. All right, another header. Oh, 
Check jumped on that one over the top. Nicholson crossed in. Croon off the woodwork. Oh, don't tell me the woodwork is going to be our nemesis again this year. Come on. All that action, and I think we only had two shots. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, there's a nice ball up. Lindbaum through. Oh, and he just drills it past the keeper. We're up 1-0. Lindbaum with his first of the season. Karsten Bag with the I'm going to I'm going to pronounce it Bag. That's all I can do. I'm sure it's Baje, but All right, Hallquist looks like a bruised knee. He is getting better, so we're going to let him go. All right, let's tell him to get creative here. Ooh, pressured. All right, looks like a set piece. Dangerous position. Oh, uh, offsides. Lucas Dolan. Good job, Dolan. Wait, Dolan? Oh, yeah, barely, barely. I don't know. I think that's one of those bad VAR offsides. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think. All right, we're doing all right. Nine to seven. We're not dominating, but we do have uh, two chances to zero. All right, let's uh, show some passion. Nothing? Nothing. All right. Pretty even on shots. Slight advantage on on target. A lot more fouls. Possessions there. All right, we're going to encourage them. We've got two guys on yellows. You know what that means? Let's bring on Sundstrom. Sundstrom has the pace, the marking, so we'll keep him in there. That will be good. And then we will come back and start the second half. All right, kickoff highlight. All right, he lumps it deep. Nobody makes the run. Anderson's going to get there deep in the corner. He turns it up. He's got a lot of space. Can't quite get it over. Baggy to check. He plays it through the channel. Nicholson can't get there. Johansson plays it back. Gustafson. Out to Hallen. Johansson. Over the top. Nicholson runs on to it. Oh, that would have been a beautiful top shelf finish. All right, demand more. Johansson. Deep throw into the box. Thony. Oh, that was in the goal. He is in the freaking goal. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Kroon's taken down. Is that going to be a card? No, no, no card. Lindbaum and Check gets there. Lindbaum with the shot deflected, but Check makes the run from central mid. He puts it in, and we're up 2 0. It's going to be nice if we can hold on here and get the victory in our first match in the league. Certainly not looking to go up back to back years. I guess it would be nice. Knudsen hauls that one in relatively easy. All right, he lumps it out, and nobody marks Spenson. The right back, uh, no, no, uh, no threat there at all. All right, uh, anybody playing really bad? Uh, Anderson's the worst. Let's bring on Falk over there. We'll get a yellow card off the field. All right, we'll ask him to get creative. Plays it over the top, headed down. I'm going to have to look up the pronunciation on that name. Oh, Lindbaum brings it into the box, takes the shot, and the woodwork deflects another one. The woodwork is the best keeper in the league, I swear. Lindbaum with a header right into Knudsen's hands, on target at least. All right, Gustafson. 
Sundstrom. Lays it over the top, headed back. The, oh, it's the old give and go. He takes it. Oh, and he shoots it wide. Oh, my God. How did you miss that? Man, we have got to score those if we want any chance of staying up this year, I think. I mean, you know, we're picked to finish top half already, but still. You know, offsides? Hello? That was not offsides. No? Hmm. All right. I'd like the line on the map there, please. Oh, right in the face. Hallen? Can't miss that shock of red hair there. All right, a nice pass up to Nicholson. Over the top. No. Not quite good enough. All right, there's a nice header. Check. Hallen. A through ball. Lindbaum on another run. And another woodwork. Oh, she whiz. Come on. What are the odds? Was that a foul? Okay. Oh, it bounces off. Good defense, I suppose. Now that's the kind of header we don't need. Through ball. Wickstrom is there. He drives it into the net. Shit. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. All right. Now, if I move this, Chet can actually play defensive mid, yes? Well, he can play that whole centerpiece. Can anybody else play defensive mid? Sundstrom can. But he's got better marking and tackling. Much better than him. So, yeah, I don't want Chet back. Let's give it a go. I mean, what's the worst that can freaking happen, right? Okay, couple of things. I have not messed with this, so I, I don't want that. We're going to regroup, hold shape, because it's more defensive. And we'll go with some time wasting in this tactic. Because, again, I want to use this one as a you know little bit more of a defensive with that fourth defender back deep. All right, um, Tom Kroon's playing a 6-9. Thony's playing a 6.5. Let's put Erickson on for Thony. I think that's the guy that I would like to be my primary winger off the bench. All right, some nice ball movement here. Check over the top. Nobody makes the run. All right, good control. There's the play forward. Lynn bombs on it. Ah, knocked away by the keeper again. Come on. All right. Oh, sorry about that. My alarm was going off for my evening medication dose. All right, he punts it. All right, just lump it out of there. Good job. It's coming right back. Yeah, let's not play with the ball. Oh, it's over him. Nicholson, he's on a break. Looked like he was having a seizure, to be fair. All right, oh my God, five minutes of stoppage time. Don't flip the chair, cat, please. Almost went down. All right, he volleys it out. All right, let's tell him to tighten up. All right, good touch by Lindbaum. He takes a shot from way downtown. It's in the back of the net, his second of the season. 
and we're up 3-1. That has got to solidify the victory and confirm the three points for this match. Very, very happy. All right, laid off to the keeper. Off to Hallen. Check with a one-timer. Back to the keeper. Oh, it's lumped over the top. Valdine. Looks like Gustafson got a hand on it. Sets up a corner here in the final minute. This has got to be their last opportunity. That's up into the stands. And that's got to see it off for us, right? There we go. 29 to 17. I'm happy with that. 14 to 7 on target. 11 chances. We need to bury a few more of those. Passes are all right. Headers. Headers is not good. But we'll take that. What do you guys think? I think that's a very, very good win. The boys, you were excellent. So let me know in the comments what you think about the transfers. Uh, that puts us up into second position on goal differential. So we are doing well there. It's a good start to the season. And it looks like the top two go up. And the third goes into a playoff. Okay. Champions and promoted. All right. So three relegated. Two automatic promotions. Wow. So 55 got the second position, but they were 24 points behind. That's crazy. Now, the problem is, if we look here, Hassel Holmes and Helsingborg, they're the ones that went down. Now, we, don't, we haven't scouted any of these teams yet. So I guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go in and ask them to get um, each one of the teams. a. Uh, we'll just ask them to get a team report. I will do the rest of this off camera. So guys, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know what you think of the transfers. Give me your predictions in the comments on where we're going to finish. Will we make it into the top half? Will we finish 7th as we're projected, or are we destined to be in a relegation battle? We'll find out when we continue next episode. Uh, I'm going to get a few games in, but we'll come in, uh, maybe we'll come back for Helsingberg and Sunval. That would be uh, give us a handful of games. They're the ones that just got promoted, uh, relegated, so that would give us a, a pretty big challenge see exactly where we sit and how we look. We'll find out. See you guys. Bye.